Once upon a time, in the charming town of Peppa Pig's neighborhood, everyone's favorite little pig, Peppa, was having a wonderful day. She had just finished playing with her best friend, Susie Sheep, and was looking forward to a nice dinner with her family. As Peppa sat down at the table, she couldn't help but feel a little bit excited. Her mom, Mummy Pig, had cooked her favorite meal of roast chicken and mashed potatoes. Peppa's little brother, George, was also at the table, bouncing up and down in his chair with excitement. As they all sat down to enjoy their dinner, Peppa took a big bite of her roast chicken. But as she swallowed, she suddenly felt a strange sensation in her throat. She tried to ignore it, but it just kept getting worse. Peppa, are you okay? Mummy Pig asked, noticing that her daughter was starting to look a bit uncomfortable. I think I have the hiccups, Peppa replied, trying to stop the strange spasms in her throat. Mummy Pig chuckled and patted Peppa on the back. Don't worry, dear. Everyone gets the hiccups sometimes. Here, try sipping some water slowly. That should help. Peppa did as she was told, but the hiccups just seemed to get worse. No matter how much water she sipped, they just wouldn't go away. Oh dear, Mummy Pig said, looking a bit concerned. Maybe we should try some other remedies. Daddy Pig, do you have any ideas? Daddy Pig thought for a moment and then snapped his fingers. I know. Peppa, try holding your breath for as long as you can. That always works for me. Peppa took a deep breath and held it for as long as she could, but when she finally exhaled, the hiccups were still there. Well, that didn't work, Mummy Pig said, frowning. What about trying to scare them away, like they do in the old folk tales? Oh, that could be fun. George said, his eyes lighting up at the prospect of a good scare. So, Mummy Pig decided to give it a try. She grabbed a sheet and draped it over her head, pretending to be a ghost. Boo, she yelled, trying to scare Peppa's hiccups away. Peppa jumped, but the hiccups were still there. Mummy Pig tried a few more times, but no matter how many times she yelled boo, or how many silly faces she made, Peppa's hiccups just wouldn't go away. As the night went on, Peppa's hiccups became more and more persistent. She tried every remedy she could think of, from eating a spoonful of sugar to standing on her head, but nothing seemed to work. Finally, as the clock struck midnight, Peppa's hiccups finally disappeared. She let out a big sigh of relief and collapsed into bed, exhausted from all the hiccup fighting. The next morning, Peppa woke up feeling refreshed and hiccup-free. She jumped out of bed and ran down to the kitchen, where Mummy Pig was making breakfast. Good morning, Peppa. Mummy Pig said with a smile. I'm glad to see those hiccups are gone. Me too, Mummy. Peppa replied, grinning. I'm just glad they're gone and I can enjoy my breakfast. In peace. As Peppa sat down to eat her breakfast, she couldn't help but think about all the silly things they had tried to get rid of her hiccups. She giggled to herself as she remembered Mummy Pig's ghostly appearance and Daddy Pig's suggestion to hold her breath. After breakfast, Peppa went outside to play with her friends. She ran to Susie Sheep's house and knocked on the door. Hey Susie, do you want to come play with me? Peppa called out. Susie opened the door and stepped outside, a big smile on her face. Sure, Peppa. What do you want to do? I don't know, maybe we can play hide and seek? Peppa suggested. Susie nodded eagerly. Okay, I'll count and you hide. Peppa grinned and ran off to find a good hiding spot. As she was searching, she suddenly felt a familiar sensation in her throat. No, 
It couldn't be. She thought to herself. But as she tried to swallow, she knew it was true. Peppa, where are you? Susie called out, still counting. Peppa groaned to herself. It looked like she was going to have to deal with the hiccups all over again. She quickly ran back to Susie and admitted that she had the hiccups again. Susie looked at Peppa sympathetically. Oh no, not again. Do you want to try some of the remedies we learned about yesterday? Peppa nodded, hoping that one of them might actually work this time. So, the two friends spent the rest of the day trying out different hiccup cures. They tried everything from holding their breath to eating pickles, but no matter what they tried, Peppa's hiccups just wouldn't go away. As the sun began to set, Peppa and Susie sat down on the grass, feeling defeated. I don't know what to do, Susie, Peppa said, sighing. It feels like these hiccups will never go away. Susie put an arm around Peppa's shoulder. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure they'll go away eventually. In the meantime, let's just have some fun and forget about them for a while. Peppa nodded and forced a smile. She knew Susie was right. There was no use stressing about something she couldn't control. So, the two friends spent the rest of the evening playing and laughing trying their best to enjoy the moment despite Peppa's hiccups. As the night drew to a close, Peppa's hiccups finally disappeared. She let out a big sigh of relief and hugged Susie, grateful for her support and friendship. From then on, Peppa learned to take her hiccups in stride and not let them get her down. She knew that they were just a temporary inconvenience, and that with a little patience and perseverance, they would eventually go away. And she was right, Peppa never had to deal with hiccups like that again.